Welcome back everyone to the channel. In today's session we are going to learn how we can use Microsoft Translator Service with Power Automate. So first of all what is Microsoft Translator Service? So it's a cognitive service which comes as a part of, part of Azure subscription. So though like uh, the, the pricing model for this is quite uh, different from Azure subscription you have uh, and the app free license app zero and then s1 s2 based on the volume of the translation you would like to require and as well as like if we don't have any subscription key for this cognitive then uh, you can just simply use that without any subscription key so that comes with some uh, character limitations and the number of request limitations so that we are going to see so as is showing that it uh, can work with logic apps power automate power apps so i just scroll down so that i can show you the limitation if we don't provide any subscription key and we just want to use that as free totally free so if we don't provide any subscription key then it will uh, just translate the limitation up to uh, up till uh, 55000 characters and 100 requests per minute and if we are providing subscription key based on our valid azure cognitive uh, service subscription then uh, the, the the translator uh, limitations would be based on the subscription type which you have bought and uh, with without any subscription key we, uh, we can only create two connections per account so that is a limitation and if i just go to the pricing model uh, you can see if i do have a valid subscription then there are various pricing model for example free so it has limitation of 2 million characters in combination of standard translation and if we go for another subscription type that is s1 and s2 then it the limit gets change so for our demo i'll be just using the free translation i'll not use any subscription key so i'll just uh, go to the power automate and for our demo, let me give you a scenario my uh, uh, intranet uh, companies intranet. So where we were capturing the feedback from various location, regional locations, and that feedback has to go in some SharePoint list, and where the actual person who are handling that feedback was based on the United States. So that feedback has to be translated so that it can be uh, in a readable format. So what I did, I actually had this uh, list in place where all the feedback gets captured from my intranet portal and you can see we have that uh, original feedback which is in actual uh, original language and then translated feedback in english so that the the uh, uh, the manager the team which is managing this entire intranet portal would able to look at that feedback easily in the translated format so for that I'll just go to the power automate I'll just create one power automate and that automate would be instant cloud flow I'll choose the connector as when item is created I'll pass on the URL of my site I'll pick up my feedback list I'll search for the translator so you can just say translator so the translator v2 version which is in preview will choose and I'm going to choose the action as translate translate our text preview all right so I'll be choosing my target language as as uh, English because I would like to translate my content into English and the feedback which is was submitted in different languages so possibly German, French, Spanish, Hindi or Japanese, Chinese, anyone and uh, I'll capture the translated text to be the text to be translated from the original feedback and in the next step I will just simply update item into SharePoint back to the same list this is my feedback list and ID I would just map that to the dynamic ID in title the dynamic title and in 
original feedback we are not going to do anything but in translated one I am going to put the translated text so that's it so with this simple three action flow we are going to translate our input feedback in a different language so I'm just saving it giving it a name alright so now we are going to do the testing I'll just create one input item from this list uh, only but uh, in the real-time use case your uh, the user of your intranet portal would be submitting in from some widget on the home portal uh, and from the home portal in your intranet so I'll just say uh, feedback in German so I'll submit the feedback in German and that should be translated into English so I'll just copy few lines in German, German and then just save it so now it's submitted and I'll just wait for my flow to run and do the translation so it may take a minute or so we'll just wait alright so it ran successfully we can just simply go to our list and check for the translated feedback now we can see from the original feedback which was in German now it's translated into English and it's pretty much readable format for the uh, managers who is managing the, your internet portal so I believe like it's a it was a quick demo for this translation service you can also translate any uh, file uh, with which is a uh, properly text file in any of the library into another uh, translated text file but as of now the word translation word doc doc or docx translation has not been supported so i am just making that clear that if you would like to uh, uh, looking for translating your entire document uh, pdf or docx that is not being supported so the use case which i have told i have just explained you or demoed you is a pretty actual real-time use case which in which I have used this Microsoft translator service to translate my feedback uh, captured from different regions and submit at one place so I hope uh, you may find it useful for you as well so that's it for today thank you